It's time for the sandbox news. This week, there's new 2D 2D game, a rework to hitboxes, editor updates, and my sandbox game jam just started. There are no updates to Construct this week, but there are two new outfit pieces. There's this yellow high-vis jacket and new blue rubber gloves. There's a new 2D arcade game test. Looks like this game is called Block Party, and I played it for a little bit. I think you're supposed to not get crushed by the blocks. So this Block Party game is a sandbox game, and it works just as you would expect. I'm going to try to get a high score at the end of the video. These 2D systems are really cool, and I could see them being used not only for standalone 2D games, but also as fun mini games in other games. Somebody could put this in their dark RP server and have little arcade games that you could play. There has been a rework to how hitboxes work. Previously, I believe hitboxes were just a mystery ID number, which referenced specific hitbox pieces on a model. Previously in your code, you had to use hitbox index. And on the default player model, hitbox index one was the head. However, that might be different for different models. Now in the model editor, we can actually define tags for the different different hitbox parts. You can see the head hitbox here is now tagged with head. All the different hitbox parts have different tags now too. So now it's a lot easier to check if you're hitting a hand, for example, or if the part you hit is on the left or right side of the body. These are all user created tags too. So you can have as many different hitbox tags as you want. There are a few new editor updates. For example, in Hammer, you can now right click and create a point entity. So from here, I can go through a big list of all the different entities. So I could spawn in a light and that spawns where I right clicked. This is just an alternative to using the entity tool here. Personally, I think this entity tool is probably going to be a lot quicker most of the time because you don't have to sort through these big lists, but who knows, I'm sure some people will find it useful. You can also drag and drop sounds and oh, this asset browser is annoying. You can now drag and drop sounds and soundscapes, probably other asset types too, into Hammer from the asset browser. Here I have AK remove clip and I can drag it into Hammer and it created a sound entity, which I can't preview because previewing sounds is busted. However, it would work just like a regular entity. The same thing works with soundscapes. Looks like this is probably a soundscape. So if I drag it in, you can see I have a soundscape with my Canyon soundscape on it. It doesn't look like there's any way to preview the soundscapes yet. This is still all an early work in progress. If you wanted to preview a soundscape, you'd have to actually open up the soundscape and preview the different sounds individually. Except it doesn't look like there's actually a button to preview the sounds in here. So maybe you just can't preview soundscapes unless if you actually try them out in game. It's all still an early work in progress. There are some other quality of life features so now I can drag different sound resources into... I don't know why I have Team Fortress 2 announcer sounds on here, that's kind of weird. But I can drag the different sound resources, so this would be like an mp3 file, into the sound entity... Wait, how do you do that? Does this actually work? That's so strange. So you can drag multiple sounds into the window here. However, if you click on a sound to select multiple, it will deselect your sound asset that you already had selected. So, uh, that's kind of weird. Again, this is all a uh, very early work in progress. So I'm sure a lot of these issues will be worked out over time. There's also a new color picker in the inspector. So if I find a entity, can I color anything about the player? Yeah, I can change the render color of the player. There's a new color picker window here. Previously, I don't think there was a color picker at all. Oh, you can make him invisible too. It does this weird pixelization effect. I don't know if you'll be able to see it properly on the video, but that's a very interesting effect. So this is cool that we have a color color picker in here now. I don't think there was one previously. Oh, can I change the color of my clothes too? Oh, that's epic. Well, now I'm a very colorful individual. If you haven't heard, I'm running a sandbox game jam. It just started today. Anyways, that's it. That's all the sandbox news. Now I'm going to try to get a high score on this 2D arcade game. So I think the objective of this is to just survive as long as possible. There doesn't seem to be any attacks or anything. 
Oh, and I've been crushed. Yeah, I think the leaderboard is broken. So it looks like it only stores the scores of your current session. I got crushed immediately. Am I supposed to do something? My score didn't seem to really go up much when I lasted longer. So not really sure if there's something I'm missing or what. Oh, I'm supposed to touch the different sides of the blocks. Okay. I see. Ah! I wonder what my score is gonna be now. Wow, 90, that's crazy. Looks like it's random every time, so you don't always get the same patterns. Oh no, I've upgraded this. Oh, so that's the one that, um, I didn't defeat him before, I made him go, I made him teleport. I think I can hold down the up arrow to jump higher. Yeah, looks like it. Uh-oh. Huh? Oh, I didn't get defeated there. That's weird. Looks like this enemy has fireballs. That's crazy. It's so dangerous. Okay, what does this brain enemy do? I haven't seen this brain enemy's ability yet. Oh, it attaches spikes to other blocks. Is that permanent? Okay, it's only one spike active at a time. Or no, it's on a cooldown. I've been defeated. I think this might almost be my best run yet. Oh, that was really close, wow. Oh, it goes invisible, it doesn't disappear. Is there like a tier two upgrade to the enemies? I don't know, I'm gonna focus on one specific block this time and try to upgrade them to tier two if I can. Let's see if I can get this red guy to tier two or tier three rather. Let's try that again, but I want to try the purple one. The purple one didn't seem that tough. I think that one just like, it, whoa, I did a super jump there. Oh, I think you get the velocity, no? I don't know. I'm not sure how the super jump thing worked. Weird. Yeah, so this purple one, it just has tears. And, oh no, I think I'm crushed. Oh, there was nothing I could do. Okay, I I activated the green one. So let's see if I can get him to tier two. What does he do now? Oh, it blocks off a whole section. And it doesn't look like they can get any tougher. So that's really cool. This really shows off the potential of sandbox. Goodbye.